Okay, welcome back to building web applications with Shiny and SQL. So let's jump right into it and start looking at the code. Uh, first of all, the libraries that you're going to need are obviously Shiny, uh, Shiny themes, um, the DB Connect library, which is responsible for actually creating the, the connection to the database. And then if you're going to be using this with uh, MySQL, you're going to need R MySQL. And if you uh, are going to use it with SQLite, you're going to need R SQLite. Um, first comment that we need to make is that Shiny applications are actually built into two files. Okay. You have a UI.R and a server.R. The UI.R is responsible for rendering the web page in the client side, right? So both of these uh, obviously are installed in the server, but when the user accesses uh, the URL, the UI.R gets downloaded to, to his or her computers and uh, gets executed and it's what will render uh, or design um, the page on the client side. The server.r is going to be responsible for the logic uh, and programming on everything that's displayed on your on your front end, right? So we'll see how that uh, works as we discuss the code. So the UI.R uh, starts here with this command fluid page and then I set the, the, the theme to Cerulean and um, here this navbar page command is what creates uh, this navbar here. is what creates this navbar here, right? So you can see here that I set the title, Easy Six Sigma, and then I start a tab panel, right? So the navbar and then the tab panel, the tab panels are each of these um, buttons, if you will, or menu options, right? So I have a tab panel for define, and this is all the code that goes into the define uh, option. And then you have a tab panel for measure, another tab panel for analyze, and improve, control, and so on, right? So inside the tab panel, I then create a nav list panel right which is this uh, sidebar here okay and then I start with the options inside of the nav list panel so I have a tab panel roadmap another for phase description guiding questions project register etc so you can see that that matches Roadmap, phase description, guiding questions, project register, process diagram. Project register. Each, each of these tab panels obviously has its code uh, inside it. Right. Um, as you can see here. Okay. So let's, uh, most of these first tab panels are just a uh, display of text. So I have a title, roadmap, for example, roadmap. Um, and then I do the, the header title, uh, one is the, the biggest, define phase roadmap, and then I load the image of the of this chart which explains 
the phases, uh, the subphases of, of of the defined phase in six sigma. Um, these images are placed on a www folder, which is a subdirectory of your main directory of your shiny app. So it looks if it doesn't find a path, it looks for these things in this www uh, subdirectory. So here I have other things. It's mainly static text. Um, I think uh, what uh, we need to talk about is this project register tab, which is the one connected to the database. So kind of give a refresher. I can click here, select a project by name, and then it pulls all the data from that project, the project ID, the project name, description, and it has these uh, drop downs which are linked to other tables in the database. And then I have a button for new, update, and delete. Okay, so let's see how that was implemented. Um, so I start with the title strong makes the title bold HR creates this this line here the separator and then um, this is what I kind of talked about on on the UI to R you're gonna set the placeholders um, if, if these things have code, if they have to load something from the database or they have to make any kind of calculation, you're going to set the place uh, where they're displayed in the UI.R. So I do here uh, column 9. Uh, this kind of sets the position um, and uh, sets the width, actually. And... Uh, with this command HTML output, I am setting a placeholder for this object that's called Six Sigma Project ID. Okay, so then I do a separator, which is this one right here, and I start. Uh, I put two more objects. It's a text input called Six Sigma Project ID two. Uh, this is the text associated to that um, to the text input so you can see here project ID and uh, this control is called Six Sigma project ID 2 and then I have the project name which is uh, this field right here right uh, the the text input is called proj name and then this is the text associated with that uh, object right and then I set a width of a hundred percent it's a hundred percent from the from whatever is left uh, from this control since they are in the same fluid row uh, command right Okay. Then I have uh, the project description uh, and two more uh, placeholders: HTML output, sponsor ID, and champion ID. Because these two controls are going to have code associated with it to load the sponsors' names and the and the project champions' names from the user table in the database right and then finally I have the uh, action buttons right which uh, here are the three buttons I named one new rack uh, update rack and delete rack uh, respectively for new record update record delete record and these are the text labels that are gonna go on the buttons okay so uh, so this is what's kinda going on on your uh, 
front end or in the ur.r uh, UR, file. 